Recent investigations into anesthesia reveal significant insights regarding the essence of consciousness. Greetings to everyone. The focus of our video today is centered on recent research conducted by Professor Mike Wiest from Wellesley College and his team of undergraduate students, which has yielded important insights into the nature of consciousness through an examination of the effects of anesthesia on the brain. Their results demonstrate that a drug that binds to microtubules within neurons can postpone the onset of unconsciousness when exposed to anaesthetic gas, thereby supporting the quantum model of consciousness. This research has the potential to transform our comprehension of consciousness, anaesthesia and associated neurological disorders, indicating a profound connection between the mind and the universe. Professor Wiest intends to investigate these concepts further in upcoming research and an anticipated book. Without further delay, let us begin our discussion. For many years, a central and perplexing inquiry within the field of neuroscience has been the identification of the physical foundation of consciousness in the brain. The majority of researchers support classical models grounded in classical physics. However, a smaller faction contends that consciousness must inherently possess a quantum character, asserting that its basis within the brain arises from a collective quantum vibration of microtubule proteins located within neurons. Recent findings from Professor Mike Wiest of Wellesley College, along with a cohort of undergraduate students, have produced significant experimental outcomes pertinent to this discussion by investigating the impact of anesthesia on the brain. The research team discovered that administering a drug that binds to microtubules resulted in a markedly prolonged time for rats to lose consciousness when exposed to anesthetic gas. This microtubule binding drug hindered the anesthetic's effects, thereby reinforcing the hypothesis that the anesthetic operates on microtubules to induce unconsciousness. Wiest states, this finding supports the quantum model of consciousness, as we are unaware of any other classical mechanism through which anesthetic binding to microtubules would typically decrease brain activity and induce unconsciousness. Wiest, an associate professor of neuroscience at Wellesley, asserts that the classical quantum debate regarding consciousness holds immense significance. He states, the acceptance of the mind as a quantum phenomenon will mark the beginning of a new era in our comprehension of our own nature. This novel perspective would enhance our understanding of the mechanisms of anesthesia and influence our considerations on a broad range of related inquiries, including the consciousness of coma patients or non-human animals, the effects of enigmatic substances like lithium on conscious experience and mood stabilization, as well as the impacts of conditions such as Alzheimer's or schizophrenia on perception and memory, among other topics. A broader perspective on consciousness through a quantum lens, according to Wiest, provides us with a world view that allows for a more natural and holistic connection to the universe. Wiest intends to continue research in this domain and aspires to elucidate and investigate the theory of quantum consciousness in a book aimed at a general readership. The Wellesley students who collaborated with Wiest on the paper include Sana Khan, 25, Yixiang Huang, 25, Derin Timuchin, 27, Chantel Bailey, 24, Sophia Lee, 23, Jessica Lopez, 26, Emmeline Gantz, 26, Jasmine Mosberger, 25, Michelle Jean, 24, Bottina Abdulrahman, 26, and Siran Zeng, 27. The study conducted by Wellesley, published on September 1st in Enuro, illustrates that anesthesia functions by attaching to microtubules within neurons, thereby offering significant support for a quantum theory of consciousness and rekindling interest in the role of microtubules in anesthesia. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like, share and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.